Hey, what's up fellow creators? Today we're gonna take a look at how to enhance your scenes with the use of fog and mist, which I think is one of the most overlooked tools for creators to have in their toolkit to create some atmosphere, to create some interest, to create some depth, to create some separation, to create light streaks, to create a little bit of motion in your scenes. It is a very easy tool to enhance your shots with. So for that, we're gonna be using Ulanzi's all new portable fogging machine, which is a tiny fogger. It's very small, it's very portable, and it comes in this little pouch with some accessories, some fog juice, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna set up a few scenes. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and try to make some scenes. So for the following shoots, I'm going to be using the FM01, the portable fog machine, the LT005 video light with a soft box, the iLight Mini RGB light, the VL49 Pro, and for the outdoor shoot, I am using the 40 watts portable video light. So first here is that LT005 light here on the right that is kind of like lighting up the scene. And I've set that up with a soft box, so it gives a little bit more of a diffused light. And then we've got two lights, these tiny ones, the VL49 Pro. And then I'm inside of the briefcase, I'm gonna use that iLight. For the next step, I am adding in some fog inside of the briefcase to fill it up with some uh, smoke. So we get this cool effect when we open it up. And this is what the scene looks like with just the softbox lighting. This is what it looks like uh, when adding the two colored RGB lights. And this is what it looks like uh, when we're adding in the fog. And then here we've got the final result. This is my final shot of that. I think it looks really cool. Then I tried the same shot with green light inside of the briefcase and a purple U color on the left gives a totally different effect, but it seems to work really well. And I've added some fog around the briefcase as well. Especially when we're working with something that organic, it might sometimes be totally worth it to wait a few seconds to see what type of smoke patterns that we get. For the next shoot, I'm creating this cool looking dry ice kind of smoke surrounding a drink. And to achieve that, I uh, use this sponge filter that will create this much thicker fog. You simply just have to put the sponge on top and you can see the type of smoke it creates is much thicker. For this scene, I have uh, used the 60 watts light just outside of the frame, so it creates this super bright light. And then I'm using both RGB lights on the left to add some color in the scene. Then with the sponge on the smoke machine, you can almost paint in the fog, you can see here. And uh, this is the final shot. I think that came out looking pretty cool as well. For the next scene, I wanted to create some atmospheric fog moving through the bamboo. Having a bright light backlighting the scene to create these light streaks from in between the bamboo. And for that, I've used the 40 watts portable video light and I'm using the VL49 Pro to add some blue light on the left side of the frame. Then the fog machines are placed just outside of the frame all the way to the right. And as these fog machines come with a remote control that we can detach from the smoke machine, I could uh, remotely control the smoke machines that were placed uh, in the bushes. And because it was quite windy, it gives this cool rolling mist look. And uh, this is the final shot coming out looking like that. Really cool. And I've also used a much thinner and dispersed fog in the shot that I was using to create this video. And there it actually enhances the lights, as you can see with the colored lights on the left and right of the frame as well. Really gives that glowy effect. So this is a really fun and I would say must have tool in your toolkit because it's so small, it's so portable and it's so versatile in use. I think once you have it, you're gonna be um, using this in a lot of your shots. So yeah, that's about it for the portable fogger. If you guys wanna see more, please subscribe to the YouTube channel here and uh, see you guys next time.